Hi, everybody. Today we are joined by Mr. Naoya Hida. Thank you for joining us here in Hong Kong. Thank you for having me. Hida-san is uh, the eponymous founder of Naoya Hida Watch and Co. And uh, this is your first time having a trunk show in Hong Kong, right? In Liao, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh, something digital trunk show in the past, mm -hmm. but the first time to participate in uh, this trunk show in Liao. Yeah. I'm so excited. We just finished our New York trunk show two weeks ago, and then you did uh, some press events in Tokyo, and then now you're here. So it's really exciting. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to see a lot of our watch collector and have chat, and that they try to see our watches. So how, how are you feeling? Like we're coming to the end of this whole this whole release. How are you feeling? Now? Yeah, but uh, already uh, very good feedback from the end customer and mm. users. Uh, especially uh, 36 millimeter, our new product is mm. named Type Four series. Mm. It's uh, super well received, mm. uh, much better than I expected. Mm. Maybe it is proof, something proof that your survey in a watch case. Yeah, I hope so. Thirty six millimeter guys. Um, what uh, can you tell us a little bit about the new collection? Because the collections are partly the previous models, yeah. but then you update a few things mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. add some stuff yeah. too, right? Uh, as I told uh, you, uh, thirty-six millimeter is our faster size, uh, but at the same time, I want to give a little bit the sporty touch, okay? With the case shape and the sapphire case shape. So this is the Type Four A. And it's the first time you've done a 36 millimeter case. Exactly, exactly. Uh, also, a little bit glamorous and uh, strong sh shape of the case, uh, legs, and mm. uh, also new designed uh, special dome shape sapphire crystal. Mm. And uh, angled uh, special design inner bezel. Mm. And oh, very 3D, uh, edgy, uh, diamond shaped hands. Mm. Lastly, this watch has a special debacle system. It's something custom size mm -hmm. for each end users. Mm -hmm. If you uh, end user want to take an order uh, with uh, this system, mm -hmm. uh, he or she definitely need to come to to see our in person. Can we can we see the debacle you're wearing? Yes, this this is my size. It's uh, like oh, this. So nice. So. So a little bit reminiscent of like the old Cartier. Exactly, well, exactly. Right? I yeah. love these ancient uh, Cartier mm. yes, very much. But uh, it, the original ones cannot adjust it. I see. Yeah, that's why I try to give her something very small micro adjustment system. Yeah. But also, same time, how to find uh, your ideal wrist size mm -hmm. with these 32 pieces the strap samples. This is so cool. I love yeah. seeing all these little size variations available. Yeah. So the idea is that if you wanted to get a D buckle on a Type 4, you would measure yourself up exactly. using these. Exactly. Because you want the D buckle to sit right at the bottom exactly. of the bone. Exactly. Right? Each one has a different size and also a different shape of the wrist. Mm. So that's why definitely we need uh, this size sample yeah. for each uh, customer. Absolutely. So where did the inspiration for the Type 4 come from? Uh, it's 1950, 60s uh, sports and uh, divers watches mm. was inspired. Mm. Uh, many brands are at the time they launch a new generation of uh, sports and divers watches. Mm. I love these uh, old style uh, sporty watches. Mm. That's why I try to ma make a new edition. But mm. same time we we're thinking, should we making the same size as previous one, 37, or maybe bigger? But I feel. Why don't you make a 36 much a little bit smaller? Mm. So I think the result is uh, one millimeter, one millimeter smaller, but it looks very different. Yeah, it looks very different. I mean, the lugs are quite a bit wider exactly. than they exactly. used to be. Yeah, case size is one meter smaller, mm. but the result, wide of the rest of the same, 20 mm. millimeter, and the wider, bigger lug. It makes a pretty interesting effect to this watch. I think like the proportions of the dial are interesting too, because you, you're not, the, because you have that deep slope yes. on the edge of the yeah, dial, it yeah. makes the flat part of the dial look much smaller yeah, compared exactly, to your normal models. Exactly. And I learned these are design technique be from a vintage watches. Yeah. I try to make a, this design into a latest technology of a uh, micro precision machine. Yeah. And of course, we combine a uh, Kanosan's hand engraver technique. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's very reminiscent of like old pole routers. Old Submariners, like the really, really early ones. Yeah, exactly. It's got that sort of H shape yeah, yeah, to yeah. the to this to the case. Very cool. Okay, well, I'm really glad that you have the Type Four, and it seems to be getting a lot of interest, yep. which is great. 
But you know, I also wanted to look at a favorite of mine from last year because I feel like this watch didn't get as much attention as mm -hmm. it deserved. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about the Type 1 D1, the two-tone? Two -tone. Yes. Yeah. This is our first two-tone watches, stainless steel and uh, yellow gold. Mm -hmm. Uh, honestly speaking, when I joined the watch industry 32 years ago, mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of two-tone because mm -hmm. the, the young myself was thought the two-tone watch is something old guys style, <laughs> not so much. But uh, now, uh, slightly, my uh, taste was changed uh -huh. and uh, uh, suddenly I feel, wow, two-tone is cool for all the style, yeah. even casual, even dressy, yeah. especially the two-tone watch with a leather strap with uh, very something uh, universal which for all kind of thing. That's yeah. why we start to making uh, these two tone watches in our uh, Type One collection. Mm. We change a lot of uh, the material combination. Mm. Finally, we got uh, this balance as uh, best for two tone watches. It's very unusual. It's very attractive too. And I think it's interesting how you decided to make the numerals on the two-tone a mm -hmm. little bit heavier yes. than, on the, than yes. on the monochrome. Exactly. When we designed the type two-tone watches uh, in a prototype, mm. firstly we made the same uh, size of the Arabic break Arabic numerals as a simple normal type one stainless yeah. steel. Yeah. But when we saw the prototype, I feel the break and numerals is a little bit weak compared to the strong gold bezel and mm. gold hands. Mm. That's why we decided to make the Type 1 D1's Arabic numerals a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. It really was necessary against, yeah. the, kind of, against the gold on the dial. Amazing. All right. Well, um, we should talk a little bit about if someone wants one of these watches. Um, so if you're interested in getting a Naoyahito watch, um, everything is to order and we don't do allocation by first come, first serve. Uh, the Armory runs a lottery process, so that runs from May 14 to 17. If you check out our website, you will see the link to the lottery. You can enter it, and best of luck to you. And Hida send you have your own process also, Exactly. Right? Mm. We will accept our order application from mm. the market via our official web from mm -hmm. 21st to 24th of May. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so the application process is what do you do in the application process? Actually, we ask to pro propose to our client to mention some comment mm. in Japanese or in English. And also, if you have uh, some SNS account, please let us know. Mm. Uh, we consolidate all the application and carefully examine the, all the application and the comment. And uh, we will uh, reply to all the comments. Something uh, I would like to propose this model to you. Mm. Someone, I'm sorry, this year you, uh, you cannot get our uh, watches. Mm. Please don't give up. Something like that. Mm, I see. All right. Well, very cool. I know that process takes you a long time, right? Yes. <laughs> this year, I have no idea how long we need to take all the examining the comments. Wow. All right. Well, very exciting. Um, for any other details, Please feel free to visit Hida-san's website. And uh, if you want to know anything else, please leave it in the comments. That is it for now. Hida-san, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you for having us. And thanks for watching. Thank you.